Oh, I didn't see you there. But what I did see was quite the automation. So inside of my workflow with my team, there are often times where essentially messages are sent and usually it's a generic message saying things like a new video is ready to edit. However, what I have figured out how to do inside of my system is utilize what is called a Slack ID number for a user. So anytime you have a member inside of your Slack workspace, for example, if I grab my buddy Vinny here, if I copy this member ID, anytime you're using an automation and referencing a team member, you can actually call out in a message to that person. So the reason for this being important is that there are many times where as a business, you want to specifically reference somebody when doing a automated message, but you just don't know how to do it because, well, you have a Slack email, you have a Notion account, where, where does it all work? So what you can do inside of Notion is create a team directory of different people. And you notice right here, you have I have myself and my editor. So what I can do is call out to him specifically by having a database inside of Notion that essentially has his Slack ID reference number put here. So what I can do is go to copy, member ID, and then place this inside of his team directory input. So then, just as an example, I know that he needs to edit this video. What often you'll end up finding is that it's pretty difficult to circumvent and find a way to just message somebody with an at. So I usually end up sending things that are pretty general, right? Like, oh, the video is ready to edit. But what I can do, which is very simple, is if, for example, a task is completed, I can actually check that completed tasks email inside of something like this assigned to property. And you'll notice right here, there's a formula that's the exact same as I have inside of my team directory, which is the name of the property you're pulling from. So this is the notion account dot map, and then you'll put email and then you're going to join the content. So essentially it's the following notion account dot map parentheses email parentheses, current dot join parentheses and do this. You can also make sure to put this in the description. And essentially from there, what it's going to do is grab this properties email and then in any other database, you can have it reference and do the exact same thing. So as you can see right here, assigned to map equals that. The reason for this extra one is someone's Slack email doesn't equal their Notion email and that's just for another automation, but ignore that. So I have the exact same one here and there. So since the assigned to for this video is Vinny in an automation, when I finish the video, rather than it saying generally video is ready to edit for the team, I can essentially have an automation run that finds the recently completed task then it will look for the Slack directory person with the same email and essentially inside of Slack, it'll then send them a message directly. So for example, we'll go to here and you'll see now, hey, at Vinicius, a new Dimitri Panici video, this one is ready to edit. Now there's a bunch of other parts in the automation of how it referenced everything, but long story short, a person can always be added. Say for example, you're working in Airtable, Smart Suite, whatever platform it is, if you have the person's email in an assigned to, you can then message them inside of Slack that they are done with something, they need to do something, their friend needs to do something, their mom needs to, whatever it is, you can at the person. All you need to do is take one simple ID, one teensy teensy little ID right here and copy member ID. The easiest way for this to work is honestly just searching their name. So like if I do Dimitri, I just click view profile for, go here, copy the member ID. And then alternatively, you can always just take the other side of things. So for example, if that video or entity itself doesn't necessarily have a Slack ID reference, you can send a generic message like you did prior. In automation software, there's always a way that you can have the opposite of something done. So you always want to make a router if you're in make.com or a path in Zapier in order to essentially do the opposite if the data is not found or else this would have been left with something silly looking like hey and then nothing 
a new Dimitri videos. It's like that, that just doesn't, no, we don't want that. So I really like the way that this works. If you're interested in learning more automation, uh, let me know, I'll just put it in the comment section down below. This is just a general video to showcase to you like, Hey, automation is pretty cool. You can do a lot of stuff with it. If you're interested in doing this kind of stuff for your business, also let me know. Um, we do notion consulting as well as create content for complicated applications. Like maybe the one you have. And make sure to check out other videos like this one on how to improve your skills using tools even more.